What's up, YouTube? Capital G here. Got an awesome door for you guys to check out. This one is pretty damn spicy, and you're going to see a hell of a lot of uh, crazy tech in this door. It was sent to me, and it was called Intense Door, which that sounds very basic, but that's exactly what you're going to see here. It's going to be very difficult, not only to tell who's going to win, but what this guy is even fucking running. At first, when I saw Mithra, I was like, oh, he's running Monarchs, duh. But then you look at the rest of his hand, Brilliant Fusion, One Day Apiece, Raw Spear Mode, which if you ever see this, you know shit's gonna get real and then he has a blue boy and it's like what is this deck so obviously ritual beast down at the bottom very difficult deck to play but uh let's see if he can make it happen i believe he's gonna start out with ultimate conahawk and uh that card being at one just like does not make a difference <laughs> like it's so irrelevant that it's at one unless it gets hit with like a solemn you probably just gonna loop that damn thing multiple times he has multiple ambush in his hand so obviously he's gonna search steeds and now he's gonna go ahead and he's going to link summon and then i think he just normal summoned the laura so he special summons mithra to give him tokens and now he's gonna use the uh he's gonna use that wing dragon around sphere mode first turn like it was nothing and here's the deck he's playing he's playing jack knights he's gonna go lavender now he's going to summon azure sky and check how fast he fills his board up now four monsters i don't know if you guys saw that but he did go with uh one day apiece so no point of really going aggressive plus i don't believe the ring dragon around spear mode can even be attacked obviously it cannot be um it can't be targeted as well so it's a really difficult card to kill now he does have the ambush He's going to go uh, Steeds, and he's pretty much going to nuke that uh, that Jack Knight board, which was unfortunate. I think they might be called Mech Knights in the TCG. Ash Blossom is going to be used on Conahawk, which doesn't really do anything because she can just tag herself out, and then he can go for, like, the Ultimate Apelio or something like that. I mean, he doesn't get the search, but, like, in the end, did it really matter? He still got a, he, like, he got a bigger monster on board, and he's still pretty set because he has his Ambush and another copy of Steeds, which, of course, he is going to use really nice as he tags out he's able to actually get rid of the wing dragon of our spear mode which i find to be an incredibly difficult card to deal with because you can't attack it and you can't uh, target it so i believe he's going to finally resolve that brilliant fusion now and check how many monsters he's going to get as he searches for two now his jack knight field's basically been rebuilt i mean he's got three monsters on the board but he's not done yet lavender is going to wait that's not lavender that's the one that does uh change zones though so he can drop the uh the one that pops back row eh, that one's okay it's gonna go for scoldy gets another copy of wing dragon or ross fear mode will he drop it is the question check this out he's going to try and link something he's going to get hit with solemn warning he's going to try and go in for a uh, a contact fusion and he gets hit with mind over matter which i have never seen in gym nights but more power to this guy i totally even I, I actually forgot that these things were even psychic type i was like wait what you could run mind over matter in this deck like what does that card even do so now he's actually in a commanding position as his lavender comes back he clearly has the regeki which is not really that good so your boy's kind of top decking but he gets death for pelica which was like the perfect top deck here i think does he have steeds or yeah he has steeds set which was it was a completely dead card and he drew like the perfect card to make it live he's gonna go into uh zephyr or the ulti gaia excuse me ulti apelio and he has he actually has like the perfect answer to regeki he's gonna tag out and he's going to go into two copies of winda winda is not a hard once per turn and now he's gonna go into the ultimate uh gaio apelio and i think that he yeah he can't do anything unfortunately because he has no hand now his opponent has some grinder golem shenanigans let them shout outs <laughs> and i was like wait i still don't know who's gonna win this duel he's gonna go full uh, security dragon i think he probably is gonna go firewall next yeah, he's not done with Grinder Golem quite yet. Firewall Dragon should be coming down, or maybe he goes for Skull Deep. No, he goes for Borlo Dragon, even better. And he's going to take his Gaia. And I was like, once again, I think he's in the driver's seat. But the uh, top deck is too real, man. He gets Oracle of Zephra, gets another copy of Zephra of Helica. And uh, at that point, he's able to go into Gaia Pelio. And he still has a token in attack mode, but it's fine. Because he's going to get Link Karibo, but rip Link Karibo. <laughs> it can only use its effect once, and he didn't kill the Grinder grinder golem betrayed by your own grinder golem that is like the worst way to die anyways whatever you guys think leave it in the comment section below thank you guys for watching as always subscribe if you have not already and turn on those notifications for daily videos